at Sacramento at your listening station, you hear 010, and you say, that can't be right. What's the simplest thing to do to try and find out what the weather really is? Because you know that an error has occurred. We've talked about the most compact way to transmit this information. There are four possible patterns. You could have two zeros, you could have zero one, one zero, and one one. However, I've got to be careful here because what we've done, and referring back to what I've said previously about compression methods, what I've done here is devised a code which has no redundancy at all. We've talked about how to squeeze redundancy out of text files and pictures, which is what compression is. It's getting rid of unnecessary information. There's nothing unnecessary here. Every one of those bits is vital, and you better hope they don't get lost or distorted on the way. Unfortunately, they might get lost or distorted on the way. So the next thing we have to say is these codes are beautiful, but they rely on you having clean, noiseless communication across your telephone wire. What would go wrong if that wasn't the case? Just occasionally, one of these zero bits, that's signified by a short boop for a dot, might get turned into a one, because part way to Sacramento, suddenly an electrical storm occurred and just hit the telegraph wire. So what was received at Sacramento was not do, do, it was do, do, like that, a longer second bit. And the people said, oh, that's zero one. It's sunny in San Francisco. No, it isn't, it's foggy. So you can see very quickly, there is no possibility for recovering from error in these. If you get an error, people will receive apparently a good pattern, but it will be for the wrong weather condition. How could you add something extra to these to give them a bit of protection against noisy telephone lines? The simplest way, one of the simplest, it's been used in telecommunications and indeed within computers for years and years now. You put in a parity check bit. So here's a code with a check bit. And all I'm going to do here, I will take every 2-bit code and turn it into a 3-bit code. But the rule will be that in the overall 3-bit code, I must have an even number of 1 bits. So this is called an even parity system. So here we go. 0, 0. There are no 1s in that. So therefore, at the right-hand end here, I'm going to add in the parity check bit. And because we're on even parity, it's a 0. Viewers of number file will have to forgive me. I think there is a video on there questioning whether zero is an even number. I'm sorry, I'm just a computer scientist. People have a delayed reaction. People are not sure whether zero is an even number. That's even as far as I'm concerned. OK, how about this one? Zero, one. Well, overall, it's got to be even parity, which means an even number of ones. So my bit I add at the right hand end is a one. Equally here, for cloudy, 1 and 0. There it is, two of them, 101. Rainy, that's easy. There's an even number of 1s already. So I put a 0 at the end. Now those codes with the check bit, they help a lot in helping to detect whether an error has occurred. Just suppose that when this 000 was sent, it got distorted. Again, an electrical disturbance just happened to chew up one of the zero bits, lengthen it and make it look like zero, one, zero. If any of these got distorted, a naught turned to a one or a one turned to a zero, it looks like a valid different weather state. Here it doesn't, because look at the valid codes. Three zeros, zero, one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. I sent this and it arrived at the other end as 010. Is this a code that's in this set? No, it isn't. If you try with these, just changing any one of the bits and flipping it, either a 1 to a 0 or a 0 to a 1, you end up with something that isn't in this list of good, valid codes. You could say, well, there's bad codes. There's things that don't correspond to any of these. And of course, with three bits, 2 to the power 3 is 8, so there's 8 possible combinations. 
What we've done here is split them up into four good codes that are meaningful and four bad ones. But the bad ones give you a protection against errors in transmission. At your listening station, you hear 010 and you say, that can't be right. What's the simplest thing to do to try and find out what the weather really is? Because you know that an error has occurred. Well, the simplest thing is to send back to San Francisco a simple one-bit message, either a naught or a one. You either say acknowledge, in other words, I got it, it's a good code, or not acknowledge. Here, I would send back a not acknowledge, often called a knack for not acknowledge. I send back a one bit which says not acknowledged, got garbage, and the sending end would say, okay, let's keep it simple, just send it again. Naught, naught, naught. Next time, you hope it's gonna get through without distortion. So this is the basis of this system in that it can detect that a single error has occurred. The only trouble is that it can't tell you where the error occurred. Just consider the following. I have got 010 here by changing the middle zero into a one. But it could have happened that it came from this one via distortion. It could have been that the bit that got distorted was not that one or that one, but that one. That trailing one bit might have got turned back into a zero. There's an error, but I don't know whether it came from this one or from this one. So this kind of code then can detect one error, but it can't correct it. It can't tell you where it occurred. Suppose I had an even noisier line and that in one of these three bit codes, you hope most of them are gonna go through cleanly. You hope that the ones that aren't clean will have at most one error in them. What happens if I send one zero one and there are two errors in it, not just one? The errors just so happen that it turns a long blip into a short one, there and there. That would then give you zero, zero, zero. Two errors. Oh, calamity again. This is received at the receiving station. They say, hey, fantastic. Zero, zero, zero. It's foggy in San Francisco. No, it isn't. It's cloudy, but it got two errors. So it looks like it was foggy. So the point here is it's resilient against one error. It can detect it. It can't correct it. But against two errors, there isn't resilience. It distorts it into a good looking code again. So for this reason, this system is called a distance two code because what it's saying is if you flip two bits it changes into another good code if you flip one bit it's discernibly garbage and you can say an error has occurred it's 80 megabytes and let me say again 80 megabytes not 80 gigabytes and it's in this huge package this combination of art and science that goes into making a game is an extraordinary thing